Mrs. Dupuy. Um, the doctor has ordered your, your heparin. Okay, mm -hmm. he's ordered for 5,000 units, and with the vial, 5,000 units is what we want. We have 10,000 units per milliliter, so I'm going to give half a cc, or half a milliliter. If, for some reason, um, the patient gets multiple doses of heparin a day, you're going to check for their PTT levels. If it's just a one-time dose, it's um, a prophylactic dose. Um, you don't probably won't find a PTT on his labs or her labs. So I'm going to use a TB syringe or a one milliliter syringe. And with heparin, we're going to give it in the stomach. Now with heparin, you don't aspirate and you don't massage once you give the injection. So I'm going to clean it off. Since it's half a air milliliter, I'm going to inject a half a milliliter of air into the vial. Turn it over. Okay, got no air bubbles. going to recap before I, if I'm doing this in the med room, I will recap the needle. If you're doing it at the bedside, you don't have to recap, but just showing you the technique to recap. So I need to go put on my gloves. Now you always take the MAR sheet to the bedside and you're going to check the armband for the name, the birth date, and the medical record number and make sure you compare the armband with the MAR sheet so you can make sure that you got the right patient, definitely the right patient. You're also going to check the order for the drug before you bring it out. You want to check with the vial to compare it to make sure that you've got the right medication. Okay? Can you tell me your date of birth? 82858. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to clean the site, and once this dries, you can't really tell where, where you've cleaned. So I like to point my little um, alcohol swab pointing to where I've dried it off, or where I've cleaned it. Okay, I'm going to pinch, make sure you get a good fold. I'm going to inject it, quick poke, insert it, there we go, and you always expose of it right away. There you go. Very good.